Spring has sprung and allergies are in full bloom. And if you're desperate for relief, there's something you should know before you turn to a nasal rinse like neti pot. All right, Fox 5's Richard Jacoba shows us why it's important not to use tap water when rinsing out your sinuses. Spring has just about sprung, and that means so has allergy season. If you're suffering from that stuffy nose and trying to clear your sinuses, you might be risking your life. So once it gets into your brain, it's, um, it's almost 90% uh, fatal. Scientists have long known using a neti pot with the regular tap water can lead to infections by brain-eating amoebas. And now the CDC has published a report that for the first time links nasal rinsing to equally dangerous acanthamoeba infections. Dr. Thomas DiCiera is a retired scientist at Regeneron who says acanthamoeba itself is a free living organism that exists among us. But when you use tap water to dissolve the saline solution in a neti pot, there is a risk the bacteria from the amoeba can enter your brain, causing a potentially deadly infection. When it gets into your nasal cavity, it can go through the blood vessels uh, in, the, in the sinus and it can get into the cerebral spinal fluid and then it can get into the brain where it causes a lot of damage and causes a severe encephalopathy, which often leads to death. The CDC cites a 2021 survey where about one third of U.S. adults incorrectly think tap water is free of bacteria and other microorganisms, with another two thirds saying tap water can be safely used in rinsing their sinuses. Yeah, the proper way to use a neti pot or a nasal rinse is to use distilled water or if you don't have access to distilled water, uh, boil the water for at least a minute or three minutes if you're at a higher altitude and let it cool down and then mix in the saline uh, for and, and the mixture that you need to rinse your nose. It's not dangerous if you drink it, but if you're using any of these nasal flushing devices like a neti pot or other nasal uh, flushing devices, it can get into your nose and then it can get into your into your brain and cause that problem. Dr. DiCiera says there is nothing to panic about here. In fact, since acanthamoeba was first diagnosed in 1956, U.S. health officials have only identified 180 cases since then. So the best advice if you're rinsing your sinuses this allergy season, read the box. We're in Rye, Richard Giacobus, Fox 5 News.